Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Morning Glory Show for in the morning, everything is new. I love coming to you in the morning. The morning is my best hours and so this is a great opportunity for me. I am so grateful that the Lord has woke you up today and he has awakened me because we know that the only reason we are seeing this day is because God has been so great to us. He's been marvelous and wonderful to us. He woke us up not because we deserve it, but he woke us up because he's just that type of God, right? And so today, as we go about our day, as we wake up to this new day, a day that we've never seen before, a day that we'll never ever see again, I have a question for you. Are your circuits busy? Are your circuits busy? And you may say, LaShonda, what are you talking about? I want to know, is your mind crowded? Is your mind crowded with thoughts and concerns, particularly worries? Is your mind crowded with worries today? Is your mind crowded with the plans that you have for today and tomorrow and next week and next year? Is your mind crowded with the various activities that you must accomplish Is your mind crowded? Now, I do understand that sometimes we got to deal with the thoughts. We got to deal with concerns. We have to deal with uh, plans and activities. But have your mind ever been crowded when you decided to dedicate some alone time with God? And And it looks like this. Maybe you're reading the Bible. And you're trying to focus on what the Lord is saying to you. You're trying to digest what it is that you're reading. And all of a sudden... You start thinking about what you got to do in the next hour. You start thinking about what you have to do when you get to work. Or you start thinking about what you have to do next week and and next day. Now, you were supposed to have been spending that time talking uh, to the Lord and reading the Lord or praying. But all of a sudden, your mind has wandered off somewhere else. So my question to you again is, are your circuits busy? Um... You know, you just start doing stuff. You start doing things that has no connection to what you supposed to be doing, which is you establish some quiet time to spend with the Lord, but yet your mind is elsewhere. Your body may be in that space, but your mind and your attention is elsewhere. So listen, if that is always happening to you, if you always find yourself listening to the radio or you're always looking at TV or your mind is always busy, always busy, is never settled, then guess what? When God speaks to you, you won't even recognize it because your mind is cluttered. You're always busy. Your mind is never at a at a rest point so that God can get through. It's always some type of competing priority or some type of competing worry or some type of competing thought. Or activity that you have going on in your mind where really you're not making that quiet and quality time available to the Lord so that he can speak to you, right? And so the key thing is you and I have to learn how to eliminate the distractions, right? We have to learn how to eliminate the distractions so that we can have that quiet, peaceful time with the Lord so that not only will he speak to us, but we will receive that which he is saying to us so that we can obey the command and find ourselves in a favored position, right? So here's the thing. There are three things that choke out us hearing the word of the Lord. First of all, worry. Worry worry is like weeds. If you if you are a gardener or if you know anything about gardening, you can plant your seeds, but eventually those weeds come out and they just choke the life out of your plant, right? Or out of your uh whatever it is that you that you um plant it. It just choked the life out of it. And that's what weeds do to you and I. They just choke the life out of us, right? Because they are they are problems, they are they are pressures, and they are just a part of the daily living. And so it makes it harder for us to hear the Lord when we are constantly worried about the problems and the pressures of daily life. 
And here's the other thing. When we worry, it's not going to change the situation anyway. It just robs us of the potential or the possible joy in that moment, right? But it's not going to change the situation. And then the other thing is riches. Our mind is always set on what do I need to do to take care of this bill? What do I need to do to make sure that my household runs smoothly? And I'm not saying that's not important because I don't want anybody to be homeless, right? But when we're always thinking about paying the bills, when we're always thinking about the debt and getting out of debt, right? When we're always so busy thinking about how we're going to make a living, guess what? We don't give time, we don't give God time to speak to us because the very thing that we may try to figure out, God has already worked it out and if we open up ourselves to spend time with him so that we can hear from him he can literally give us the solution to the thing we're trying to solve and so we're wasting energy and time when we don't put in the time to just really hear from the lord the other thing is pleasure sometimes our own pleasures and our own desires get in the way. Now, there is nothing wrong with pleasure, right? God says that he will give you and I the desires of our heart. So there's nothing wrong with fun and having fun and enjoying all that life has to help offer. But you can miss him in the plans. You can miss him and miss the plan that he has for your life. Remember, God said he'll give us the desires of our heart. So it's not something that he won't do. So I would say you don't have to cultivate the weeds. You don't have to cultivate the riches. You don't have to cultivate the pleasures, right? These things are going to show up. But I want to make sure that you put them aside so that you can spend that quality time with the Lord. Again, remember I said this week we were really going to focus on how we can get in the, into the presence of the Lord so that we can hear from him and begin to minimize the, the trials and tribulations that we go through because we have made bad mistakes or um, we've done things that we should not have done only because we were not open to hearing what the Lord has for us. And so therefore, I would say this, if you find that you are constantly worrying about something. If you find that you are constantly just, your mind is always active. Your mind is always busy. Your mind is always cluttered. I say to you today, you and I have to learn how to eliminate the distractions, right? We have to change that so that our circuits are not so busy to the point where we cannot hear from the Lord. So when you find that your circuits are busy, your mind is always busy. It's just going, 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 going like the Energizer Bunny. That is your clue. That's your indicator that you need to get quiet. Get quiet so that you can hear from God, so that you will know what your next step is. So listen, the question I have today is, are your sick circuits busy? And if so, it's time to get quiet. So enjoy your Tuesday. I hope you have great expectations of the awesome things that God has for you today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.